We're at the chain stay. <laughs> it's day one of racing in Europe. I've already made a fat stack of waffles. Look at this. It's not even raining. Things are things are good here on day one. Spencer, Emily, and Kerm are in the van on the way to the race. Tetsuki and I are joining them shortly. Look at this. No rain today. Festive Christmas lighting. Ah, oh, it's good to be back. All right, let's do this. You want to drive or you want me to drive? It's okay, I can drive. Perfect. <laughs> I'll DJ. One minute early. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> if Emily was here, we'd be probably 10 minutes late. Really? Yeah, don't ja tell it. Japanese is always five minutes early. Yeah? Yes. Well, you're only one minute early. How do you explain that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what do you like to listen to? It took one hour, <laughs> less than. Come on, America. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Fine. I Thank like you. your glasses. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Do you know where my crew is? Yeah, your crew is over there. Oh, there they are. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning. Found Good morning. Them. Good morning. Man, what's the problem here, Spence? Yeah, it's not running Shimano. That's the problem. Speaking of which, speaking of Shimano, you guys should know that the shoe contest is done and we have a winner. Spencer, can I have a drum roll please? What? I don't know, like on the seat or something? The winner is Hal Breyer! Woo! I think I said that right. Congratulations, Hal. Now you got shoes like Becky and I. You should have seen Dad when we got here. So like the lady asked him something when we drive in. But she's asking him a question, he just goes, yes. And then he's like, riders, we got riders. <laughs> Kerm in Europe, it's a sight to see. Number seven, front row, baby. I don't know why everybody's making a big deal. Our setup is over here. All the way from Tacoma, Washington. <laughs> it's a little crooked, but way more furry. Just pinning up numbers, we can get on course in about an hour and a half. So I'm just gonna enjoy this little bit of sun we have because we're not gonna have it tomorrow at Namur. Hey man, keep the cord of that air compressor, keep that thing tight. We don't want Kerm hitting the pavement again. <laughs> Hit the pavement. It will be softer here on the uh, cork track, but yeah, that's what he got. That's what he got tripped up in the damn. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't have PTSD from seeing all these cords and stuff laying around. Man, I was wondering why he was jumping so high when he went over. <laughs> He's going like this. You go by. Him. Thought he was just playing hopscotch. Yeah, I didn't know what he was doing. How was it? I didn't go out. Did you? Yeah, I pre ride already. Really? Yes. Two laps. When? No, uh, just a few minutes ago. Oh. What's your pre-race meal? Pre-race? Yeah. Do you eat before the race? No. No? No. Already morning? Yeah. Uh, late morning, breakfast, then a little something. Yeah. No wait. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Looks <laughs> good. The sun's gone. It's just there behind them there clouds and I feel like the temperature dropped like 10 degrees. I'm just warming up on the trainer, then I'm gonna get on course. Spencer's doing tire pressure, doing 22-24. What? I'm doing 22-24. I haven't said it right that time. I got the tall, this puppy jacket. 
but my raincoat's not tall. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Muffin Bottom. I heard of a rough top. But well, this is a muffin bottom. <laughs> Just tuck it up in there, man. Then you'll have the muffin top. I know, right? It's raining now. It won't really change the course. So you come off the start and you full full gas into the first like really steep ups, which we'll have to pay attention to. I might be running and jostling for position there. Then you kind of drop down, go through some woods, and enter the backside of the, the course. Pretty famous now, huh? With the crash on the US Champs. On the way back is when you hit the first really steep off camber that sends you straight into the lake if you mess that up. There's two of these like concrete ditches that are very stark and abrupt, which probably shouldn't be in there, but. Then you do the barriers, come back across on an off camber. There's like a little uh, concrete ledge that you got to jump over and then you drop into the sand. Riding right on the water is the fast line. Do a hairpin and then you're back at the start. So it's going to be a quick laps. Probably going to do a bunch, like six minute laps probably. So Vanderpool's here. We'll see what happens. Hey. Just like hang out over here or lock your car or ours. I'm just worried about your bikes too, since no one's gonna be here now. Do you want the keys? They're above that visor. The keys are not there. Eggplant. <laughs> Good luck. Man, get out of here. You gonna do a little sponsor plug for your gloves? Man, I'm not spon I'm not. Man, I'm let not me see them plug. things. I need a dart. Warranty. I need a stand. I need a stands dart is what I need. Barry, is this is this a warranty this issue? A war also, this right here is sort of tearing. Well, oh my God, this is product testing at its finest. Yeah. Graphics, graphics look great. Dude, get out of here. Good luck. Good luck to you. Keep an eye on Kerm. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't trip over stuff. All right, I will do. So now I just hang out gonna go watch Emily come by here see how things are going uh, this is the ditch I was talking about oh, that's a rim smacking yeah, em. <laughs> I can still hear rim smacking em, good job good job so fast. Oh, I was just making mistakes out there, bobbling, losing groups. It was not a good day for that. I was going to show you my kit fully, but it uh, took me so long to get back to the van because of all the people that I froze and I took it off. So I'm going to get warm. I'll, I promise I'll show you guys tomorrow. We're driving the van tonight to Namur. Hopefully this served as a good opener. Race the World Cup tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. First race of the season calls for first fruits of the season. Lady had to give me the box because I couldn't carry all three. <laughs> Perfect fuel for tomorrow. Oh, what do you think? Your first European cross race, man. This is my favorite part. <laughs> me too. Let's get out of here. Hey, Andrew. <laughs> do you think this apartment was made for six people? No. That's not what you said before. <laughs> you wanna do it again? All right, let's do it again. <clears throat> Andrew, do you think this apartment was made for six people? I don't think this place was made for one full-size American. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready, man? Yeah, man, I am. <laughs> Are you sponsored by bike flights? No. Huh. Are you? You don't like, seem to be wearing any of your uh, bike flight stuff right now. Well, that's because you're wearing it all. Oh, I got this. We can't both look like that. Yeah, we can. Nah. Yeah. Up here. Just a few evasive driving maneuvers this morning. Good thing I had two cups of coffee. I took that comment you made about not stopping for anyone really close to heart. 
Yes, you did. Good, because he, he Andrew right. slowed down and rolled down the window, and I was like, roll it up, keep going, keep going, and then don't like, stop. Hey. <laughs> and we heard them, we were like, whoa, whoa. And then they got in their van, but we were too quick. Oh, look, Luke's here. No. Katie's here. We made it. USAC is here. All the people. What up? Hey, Mike. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, hey, Gary. Good morning, Gary. How are you? I'm good. Taking care of business this morning? Okay. I think now it's just waiting until pre-ride, which is a little later for the guys. Pin numbers, number 47, and uh, then get on course at 1040, which is in 40 minutes. So I'm gonna try to slowly start getting stuff together here. Man, I'm really gonna have to step my laundry game up. This kit is gonna be wrecked after this race. White on white. The Johnstons are here. That's with a T. They came over to hang out for Christmas and... Hey, am I technically a sponsor of yours now since I am uh, like You're my new Shimano giving rep. you equipment? Yeah, thanks Scott. Wait, you have... Oh, this is an interesting... Yeah, a good setup. G here, let me take over j Pal's little thing right here. This is... Uh, we're standing here with uh, Ruby West of uh, Team Pivot Maxis. And uh, and by PP stands no two, not peanut butter presented by. And uh, she, uh, I'm just really interested with her bike setup. She's got the Dura Ace left shifter, GRX rear shifter. What what prompted you to run such you a know, unique setup? I just went out on course and I said to myself, I think I'd have better grip with the GRX shifter, and that was it. There was no incident, nothing at all. I just wanted that one. Yeah, so you didn't break anything. Or no, anything. I definitely wouldn't do something like that. So you just told me you broke something so that I would feel bad well, see, and give you... It, didn't it work? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you have it. There we go. Hey, well, thanks. Look for this later in the week on uh, on the bike well, profile thing. Profile. Yeah. All right, thanks for taking time. Yeah, I got you, sir. All right, but what are your names? Charlie. Charlie. Don. John. Don. 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 These guys are going to film for me here in Demur. All right, just don't break it. And then we're good. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Good luck, Becca. Thanks. Are you not wearing gloves? I never had pocket. I have feet. I don't want to pee on them. Good plan. I hate when I peel my gloves. Oh. Something tells me this kit may never be the same. Guess we're gonna find out how good the Belgian detergents are. Pulled two laps down and I couldn't be happier. My hands just got way too cold out there. That was kind of my fault. We're cleaning up here. Spencer's loading bikes. And we're getting out of here. Back to Oudenard. To clean up and do it all again on Thursday for the uh, Zolder World Cup. Anyway. See you guys then.